Let's see, 17 to 23, 19 to 23. Unfortunately, this is a double match point. Uh, I wonder if this is a good place to uh, to double. Three, two. Oh, we can make the ace point. Twenty-two. Ah! I forgot to enter the dice. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to pretend that I rolled a double two. I, I apologize for that. I, I need to, uh, I need to do something about the the user interface for sure. Twenty two to. to okay. Twenty one. Okay, unfortunately, it still wants the computer to roll. I, I need to change that as well. 6-1. Yeah, actually, believe it or not, for me, when I program some of these AI um, engines, I'm just speaking from experience, one of the hardest things to do for me is um, I love writing the machine learning part of things. I love the part that t uh, where the machine actually thinks about what to move next. I hate, I hate, 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 hate writing u user interface, and I especially hate the tournaments because of the social aspect of things. So I, 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 I um, oh, this is this is where it sometimes, um, sometimes it goes to show how you use um, how your how how your um, technical skills interact with your soft skills. I a lot of the people at the tournament have much better soft skills than I do, but I have technical skills and sometimes when we go to the tournament it really shows all of our strengths and weaknesses, right? And um, unfortunately, and this is the real unfortunate part of things, um, uh, at my job, I'm a, I, I, I work at a tutoring center, a lot of times um, people get what they need out of me, but they don't think very highly of me because of the way I sell myself, right? And the tournament really showcases some of that, right? My user interface for the game is really bad because I don't want to think about that, right? I, I'd rather be writing another AI by the time I get to the user interface, right? I'm, f I'm finished with the back end and AI. I want to move on to dots and boxes or club or, or my recent obsession is of the contact tracing of pandemic issues, right? You have all this... Uh, GPS data of where everybody has been and who has gotten sick and then you want to learn that so that next month when people go back to school or they do Black Friday shopping and now their their phones are generating all sorts of other GPS signals you can you can uh, calculate who's going to get sick next right that's been my recent obsession and and then I'm going to I'm going to have most of the artificial intelligence for that done and nobody will be able to use my app because I don't want to get I don't want to do the user interface and I don't want to go to a conference and instead I just want to write the next AI right maybe predicting who's going to win the election or <laughs> that's a weakness of mine anyways back to the game that was an interesting aside uh given what it, what happened with the moves okay whose turn is it it's our turn and this time, let's not forget to enter the dice. Five three. Five three. Let's see. Uh, we can bear off the five checker. Twenty. And bear off is twenty five, basically. The way I've programmed it. Okay, twenty to twenty three. Four one. Six three. Nineteen to twenty five. Nineteen to twenty two. Six one. What the hell? 
and I misentered something and it caused the program to Oh I forgot to enter a negative one to to and Ah Okay. Okay, okay, that was a big wake up call for me, that video. Um Yeah, I, I um like I said anytime um I, I find a task really boring. I move on to the next interesting. I had I had this problem as a kid too. Um, when I was in, uh, I think it was middle school or maybe the the first year of high school, I would often have so many loose ends on all my homework projects because I would get all the interesting stuff done. Maybe it was writing a report or something. I'd write all the bullet points, but then I would have a hard time relaxing to join it all together because that was too boring for me, right? If you asked me to write a paper on all the, uh, let's let's say that, uh, I was taking a history class, right? And that our teacher wanted us to read about recent events on COVID-19 and I would find all the dramatic events, right? Trump said that we should drink bleach, you know, people going out on Labor Day and, um, borders closing and then I would have a hard time joining that into a readable story right because by the time I got I I, I did I found all these important bullet points it was boring after that right and right now that's what I'm dealing with right anyways so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching either the game or some of my weaknesses